Okay, we need to talk about why we shouldn't be talking about what people's sexuality might or might not be, depending on whether or not they fit into our expectations of gender. Women should wear dresses and have long hair, and men should play hard to get and avoid talking about their emotions. That's just a tiny, and a really tiny, example of the expectations that we have created for genders. And when people don't adhere to those expectations, we feel the need to label them, to categorise them, to put them in a box assigned to a letter from the LGBTQ acronym. Sometimes we think we're doing them a favour, we want to celebrate their sexuality, but if we're getting it wrong, and sometimes even when we're getting it right, this speculation can be really damaging, not to mention totally needless. Now, you might have seen the online discourse surrounding Will from Love Island. After a video of Will dancing in the villa began to circulate, people began to tweet things like, is Will Young gay? In fact, of the top 10 Google searches about Will Young, more than half of them are asking whether or not he is gay. He's never spoken about his sexuality, so the speculation, whether he identifies as heterosexual or not, could potentially be really damaging. People think Will is gay because he doesn't fit in with their ideas about heterosexual behavioural norms. If you need a recent example of just why the speculation can be so damaging, Heartstopper actor Kit Connor came out as bisexual last year, but he said he was forced to after constant speculation and accusations of queer baiting. Kit later said that he's not a big believer in labels, and Harry Styles has also said that he doesn't want to label himself and that the speculation about his sexuality is outdated. And he's not wrong. It might seem like harmless curiosity, but if someone hasn't defined their sexuality, that's their choice, and there's probably a myriad of reasons why, which we should respect.